Hi, I'm Doug Kirshner, and I'm a program manager on the Human Interaction Platform team. In February, we showed you some of the improvements we've made to Narrator Touch to make Windows 8 accessible to users with low vision or blindness. Today, I'll show you some of the touch improvements we've made to Narrator in the release preview, thanks to some great feedback we received from users like you. The first thing you'll notice when you drag your finger around the screen is that we've added lots of additional audio cues. Each gesture has a different audio cue associated with it. For example, I hear a tick when I touch a new item. Messaging. Xbox games. Messaging. People. Double tap to activate. Triple tap to select. When I select something, I hear a thud sound. Unpin from start. Me when I activate a button, I hear a click sound. Xbox games. When I scroll, I hear a sliding sound. Xbox. Scroll to one. Scroll. And when I can't scroll, scroll any further, cannot scroll. Cannot, sc cannot scroll further. Narrator makes an error sound to let me know that I can't do the command. These sounds make Narrator Touch feel much more responsive on touch screens since they provide instant feedback as you do each gesture. We've also done a lot of work on the gestures themselves. Some users found it difficult to do the multi-finger gestures, so we made the gestures simpler overall. Moving between next and previous items used to be two finger swipes, but now you can just flick with a single Desktop. finger. Maps, messaging, calendar, photos. Also, scrolling to activate. Scro is now just two finger scroll. swipes instead of four, and the gesture to stop speaking is just Maps. a two finger tap. Double tap to act. The new gestures are much more reliable and make it easier to control narrator. The command to move between next and previous items is something we've updated as well. In the consumer preview, you had to navigate up, down, left, and right to move through the hierarchical layers of visible items on the screen. This allowed you to access everything, but was unintuitive to users. Now, by default, you can just flick left and right with a single finger, and Narrator will step through all the interesting items on the screen. This is a much simpler and more user-friendly way of navigating. The last improvements I'll show you today are the commands we've added to make it easier to read web pages. Many of you said that you wanted more commands for reading web pages, and we've added them to the release preview. For example, suppose we want to read the news on this New York Times page. You can now flick up and down to change views to move by different elements on the page. View. Heading view. In each view, you can flick left and right to move by that type of element. Sweeping effects as broadband moves. So I can switch to heading view and find an interesting area of the page. Then switch to lines view. Item view. Paragraph view. Line view. And read line by line. Effects as broadband moves to meters by Brian Stelter 150 broadband companies are. If I want to see how a word is spelled, I can switch to character view. Word view, character view, R, O, A, D, B. And at any point, I can do a three finger swipe and narrator will start reading until I tell it to stop. Broadband companies are moving toward a strategy called usage based billing, which will charge tiers of pricing based. These are just a few of the changes that we've made to Narrator that make it easier for users who are visually impaired to use Windows 8 with touch screens. We look forward to you trying it out for yourself.